All right. As you know, I'm not here, but I'm still watching you. Yes, I'm still watching you. And one of you has gum. Um, we're going to do a couple things today, then you're going to get a lot of practice. But we need to get through those couple things, so I need your cooperation. I need passer outers. Hopefully you've already done that. You need your compass, ruler, and protractor. You need the handout the, for the angle, 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 and side, side, angle um, worksheet. And then you're going to need uh, one blue and one pink sheet of paper. All right? So hopefully you have that. If not, pause. Did you pause? Okay. Well, it's just a second for y'all, but a second for me and many seconds for you. Anyway, let's get moving. So let's go ahead and take a look at constructing angle, angle, angle. You should follow along on your example. This is the first example. So what I'm going to do is, obviously I have no line to draw right now. It doesn't give me anything, so I'm just going to go ahead and draw a line. So I'm going to draw a nice, good, long line. doesn't have to be too huge. And I'm going to take my first angle, A. So I'll call this A. I'll call this B and C somewhere up here. So I'm going to take this, put this grommet on A, measure 60 degrees. So 60 is right here. 40, 50, 60, yeah. I guess it is. I can't read right now. Move this out of the way. And I'm going to draw a line. I'm going to extend it past there. All right? Just extend it a little bit. And I'm going to go to B, measure B. This is very similar. You've seen this before. Put it on B, anywhere on B, and I'm going to draw a line. No, I mean 40 degrees. And I have to use the outside because we're acute here. So I'm just going to simply draw a line through that point connecting here. And I have my angle, 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 triangle. So right here is point C. Go ahead and practice one. Then you're going to do on your blue sheet of paper an angle, 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 and you're going to tape it to that back wall right over there under the blue sign. Put your name on it. If you need to see this again, rewind. But it is kind of straightforward. You can go pretty quick on it. Side, side, angle. This one is a little bit more trickier, so pay attention. And if you need to look at it again, please do so. So, what we're going to start off with is we're going to draw a line. Yet, I'm going to draw a line. I better lower that. Okay? And what is going to happen is I'm going to have this as A, and B is going to be up here. We've got to draw that next. So, I'm going to draw my 40 degree angle. Watch carefully, 40 degrees right here. I put a dot move this out of the way, and now I get my ruler. I'm going to go to B. This one is a bit different. Got to rotate that ruler. It always, always does it when I don't want to. It never does when I do. So I line that up. And I'm going to go seven centimeters to that point. So seven centimeters. Right there. So recap. I drew a line. It had to be long. It's going to be longer than what I need. And that's point A. Point B is somewhere over here. And I took my ruler and did 7 centimeters through 40 degree point. Now I'm going to take this. This is where I got to use my protractor. And you got to use, I mean, a compass. And you got to use the compass. That thing drives me nuts. And I'm going to measure out my next length 6 centimeters. So that's a little bit too long, right about there, okay? Look what I do. I put the pointy end right here at the end of point B, this is B, and I'm going to arc it. I'm going to arc it. So I'm going to draw an arc all the way around. Very often you're going to intersect twice, and look what happened. I intersect here and intersected right here. I can draw a line connecting either one of these points, here or here. I can go here, or if I so desired, I can go here. So I can have two triangles. 
I thought we were supposed to only have one. Well, you talk about it with your neighbor and figure out what's going on. And then when you're done with this, on the next example, you're going to paste it up here. So, on a blue sheet, do your angle, angle, angle. These are the ones you're going to use. Pause. No watch. Unpause. Okay. So work it out. Should have it taped up by now. On a pink sheet, do your side side angle. We're done pausing. All right. Good? All right. Now let's talk about it. All right. So I'm going to give you a couple of book problems here. And this is straight off your homework. 15, which postulate, if any, can prove the triangle is congruent? So we have all five postulates to choose from. And, of course, we can say, well, maybe we just can't do it. Now, when I have a problem like this, I see the two triangles, and these four line segments are all congruent to each other. I kind of call this a bow time problem. And when I see something like this, I immediately think vertical angles. Because the bow tie forms these vertical angles out here. And according to chapter 1 definition, vertical angles are congruent. So I'm going to go ahead and write my little congruent symbol right here for the angles. little arc right here. So I'm going to say, what do I have now? It looks like I have a side, angle, side. Side, angle, side. So I put side, angle, side. Boom. And I did my mini proof because I had my given, but I did this right here. If I didn't do this and I wrote side angle side, I'm not going to be happy with you. you got to show that mini proof that you understood that here is your included angle. And it is the included angle. See how the A is in between these two sides? Guess what? The side, angle, side, that angle is in between these two sides. All right, let's take a look at the next example. This one is a little bit more trickier. Actually, quite a bit more trickier. So i got two sets of parallel lines that's given. And I am directed to see if I can use angle, side, angle. So I don't get to choose all five. I'm going to have to try and either do angle, side, angle, or crash and burn. Well, when I have this, I'm looking at RST, this triangle right here. And I'm looking at TUR, this triangle here. And when I have triangles that share a same line, I immediately think of the reflexive property, which is nothing more than RT is congruent to TR or RT, however you want to write it. And that's a congruent sign. This right here is congruent to itself. So I'm going to put two little tick marks right here. I could put one or three or whatever I want to do. And then the next thing I'm going to do, when I think parallel lines, I'm immediately thinking transversal. Well, guess it. Since I'm using angle side angle, I only have to deal with one side. That better be my transversal. So let's take a look at this. We're going to take turns on our parallel lines. I'm going to look at this transversal to this set of parallel lines. See these guys right here? This one and this one? So I'm looking at this, and I have alternate interior angles here and here. According to our definition, alternate interior angles are congruent. So look what I do. I put my little congruent symbols here for the angles. So I got to do the same thing for these two lines because I bet you I need to find another pair of alternate interior angles. So pretend these horizontal lines disappear and these slanted lines are the only ones we're working with. Guess what? I have it here. I have an alternate interior angle here. One, two, and an alternate interior angle here. So let's see what we got. I have angle, side, angle. All right? And I have angle, side, angle. These are congruent. So using the angle side angle theorem, I mean postulate, we're good to go. And I can put A, S, A, little check mark, smiley face, whatever. And if I didn't have these markings, this would be counted incorrect. You've got to show your little mini proof. All right? All righty. So the, you should be wrapping up. You're hitting your, you're hitting your um, worksheets. And remember, everything is going to be graded tomorrow so you should have everything done now on your angle 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 and side side angle you do not have to complete that the only thing i'm going to look at that is what's taped up on that back board with your name on it the side 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 angle side um and the other ones that we did um on tuesday yes i, I want you to have that ready for